Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Fabiana from creativeswimwear.com. You can go there and check all my patterns that I have, mostly for bikini, swimwear, one pieces. I teach tutorials from beginners to advanced, so you have every option on my channel and also some patterns on my website too. And this week I'm gonna show you how I made this beautiful crochet top. It has granny hearts. It can, you can actually use any granny square you prefer, but I use the hearts one because I saw it on Pinterest and I really liked it and I wanted to make it. So it was my first time making this top, so we're gonna make it uh, and discover together how to make it. Of course I know how to join the squares, I'm gonna be showing you how to do that and how to make the green square. I actually made one for myself like it's a bit different than the ones that I saw online because I couldn't find this exactly this exact crochet hat so um, I just made one for myself that you can all actually like grow it bigger because the last few rows they are just similar but I'll be teaching you how to make the whole granny how to join them together and how many grain squares you need for each size of top you want to make and as well if you want to make a skirt or a jacket or any other pattern with this heart it's uh, quite simple after knowing how to make the basics you know which is join and actually make the heart and then I'll be teaching you as well how to use double yarn to make the ties, the strings and how to make this little tassel at the end and at the end uh, I'm also gonna teach you how to add elastic here as you can see it's elastic so it fits on your body better and how to make this beautiful edge to finish the to finish this stop so let's go let's start this let's start this project right now this crochet heart I'm using cotton yarn because I make summer clothes I don't make winter stuff but it's the same pattern if you if, if you want to use wool and um, thicker hook okay my hook is a 2.1 millimeters hook and um, that's the hook I'm working with. So to start this this heart in the middle I'm going to make um, a magic ring. So one, two loops around your finger and then Grab the first one like this, twist it, and chain. Slowly take it out of your finger, and there is our magic ring. And after that, I'm going to make two chains, and then I'm going to double crochet two times so one two and then three chains and again now I'm going to make five double crochets so one Two, three, four, five, and then another three. One, two, three. So these are going to be my corners. Another five. One, five double crochets. So 
seven, four, five, and then three more chains. And I'm gonna pull this um, this tail to close my work. And then here I'm going to make two more double crochets. One, two. And because I'm counting just these two chains of the beginning as double crochets, I had I'm gonna have five, five, and five here. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then I'm going to make a slip knot here. And then I'm going to single crochet one, second one, half, double crochet. And then I'm going to make in this corner, in each of these corners, I'm going to make eight double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then where, where I had five double crochets, I'm just going to make one double crochet in each double crochet. Okay, and here in this bottom, um, this bottom corner, sorry about that. This bottom corner, I'm going to make two, four, six, seven. And then here, I'm going to make one, two, three. And because this is the top of my heart here, I'm going to make a treble crochet right there. So it makes the, sh and that's going to make the shape of the heart, as you can see here. And then one treble crochet and three more double crochets. Okay, and then double crochets here, one each double crochet from before, and again here eight double crochets. So one, two. Next one here. We had a half double crochet and a single crochet. So a half double here to start making that shape and a single crochet here. Okay, and then what I did to make it the shape even a little better, I made um, slip knot right there in the middle and then now I'm going to make the next row so um, after I finish this second row I'm going to the third row and in this first stitch here I'm going to make just a single crochet on the second one half double crochet third one, one double crochet, then one more double crochet here, 
And now for five stitches, I'm going to make two double crochets in each one of them. So one, two, this is one, three, four, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going to make single crochets all the way to the bottom. So double crochets. So one double crochet in each double crochet. And then after this row we're going to change the color and make that fourth row with the other color. So now where I had the treble crochet before, which is here, I'm going to make one double crochet and then a treble crochet, another treble crochet, and another double crochet. Okay, so I have the perfect shape here. I just invented, invented this, um, this green square for myself because I couldn't find another pattern, so And here you're gonna just repeat the same number you had here, which is two, four, six, eight, nine. So two, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and then two each for five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then, just like before, and then, just like before, one, two double crochets, and then one half double crochet here. To again make that shape and a single crochet here and finish this off like that so in the shape we keep that hard shape so now we can cut that yarn And that's how our heart looks like right now. Okay, so we're gonna count one, two, and on this third stitch here from the center of the of your heart, we're gonna pull this other color through and make a chain with both sides of the yarn together, and then two chains. Place that tail behind so we can crochet on top of it. And now we are going to make two more double crochets in these two next 
stitches here and then one chain and then we're gonna skip one here sorry sometimes I have to check because I just made it first time just before and so from now I'm going to skip one here and I'm going to make three double crochets in this next chain and then I'm going to make two chains and then again in this next chain not in the same one the next uh, double crochet from before I'm going to make one two three more double crochets and that's gonna be our first corner here okay and then we are going to make one chain here and because this part of the heart is a bit wider we are going to make skip one here and in this next one we're gonna make half double crochet just to keep that height the same and really make a square and then one chain skip one there and here another half double crochet and two normal double crochets just double crochets okay so see it's like a rectangle that's why we need we need a uh, stitch with less height here just to make this square like we have here to make a perfect square and now one chain again and then I'm going to skip two and then here because it's it's getting more narrow I'm going to make treble crochet so one all in that same double crochet from before two three and then two here two chains in between and in this next one three more treble crochets one two three and then here one chain and uh, skip one stitch here and one two three double crochets with one chain in between and here you don't need to skip any here we're going to make one two three here as you can see it's looking already like a square so one more chain after these um, double crochets and then skip one again and then we're gonna repeat the treble crochets here so three in each stitch one two Three, two chains in between them because it's a corner and then in this next stitch after we are going to make three more so one two three they have to be longer because it's our heart is narrower 
it's more narrow on the bottom okay and then one chain here skip one two then we're gonna make the same thing again one double crochet two double crochet in the next double crochet and I have double crochet here one chain and three other half double crochets here two three one chain skip one there and here one three double crochets in that same chain two chains in between this next corner and then um, in this next chain again, in this next double crochet, one, two, three more double crochets, one chain, skip one there, and then one, two, three double crochets, one chain, and then we are going to join here in the second chain there I do I make a single crochet and just go straight away to the next row you can slip stitch if you want and now we're going to make one two three four five chains to make a space here in, in between them because we are only going to be making crochet now on top of the chains we had before so we're gonna double crochet three here in that chain so three uh, double crochets in that first chain and then here i'm going to make that corner again which is three double crochets two chains and three other double crochets and this row is really easy because it's just a repetition of the row before with um in uh with just double crochets we're not gonna make half double crochets anymore because we already have a square underneath it so one two three double crochets in each one of the chains with one chain in between them so if we want to keep going with this square if you want to make we want to make this square with five rows or six rows we can just keep repeating this row here And also, I'm going to show you guys how to join this square. So I should be joining. I'm going to join on the sides. So, one, two. So I'm only working double crochets in this row. I'm not working uh, half double or treble crochets anymore. That was just in that first row after my heart. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you here quickly how to join and this first corner here, this I mean this bottom corner here, and I wanna join with this other square that I made before, and so after this three double crochets in this corner here. I'm going to make one chain and then I'm going to make one single crochet in that same corner. I'll be looking at the back of this square. Okay, so when I turn them they fall they both face the right way. And so one and one here. Let me see how and then your three double crochets again to finish the corner. 
yeah that's perfect see okay and now I'm going to go straight to this second one make one chain one single crochet there on the other side one more chain and then I'm going to make my three double crochets on top of that next chain and I keep repeating that all the way up one chain single crochet here on the other side and another chain and then my three double crochets on the other flower then one more chain one more single crochet on the other side one more chain here and three other double crochets so i'm going to join all the way to the other corner two three one chain single crochet on the other side there another chain and then the three double crochets in that corner so one two three and one chain connect with this last corner here and that's how it looks like joined with the other granny we had before and then now here you just finish your three other double crochets for this corner with one chain between and then here three other double crochets two three with one chain between and then here we have already the two chains they are the same as one double crochet so we will be making one two double crochets and in this chain here one slip stitch to finish okay this one that's how our crochet granny looks like top i made nine of these uh, hard granny squares and that's gonna make a small size if you want a large size then you make one more heart so each heart now has each granny heart has three and um, three and one quarter by three and a quarter inches okay which is um, eight centimeters by eight centimeters and i made nine of them so i have a total of 16 inches or 41 centimeters and this is gonna be good for a 34 to 35 and a half inches uh, bra size okay so now if you're making a large just make 10 hearts so i joined them all together and um, from now here all right so i finished the last one and i didn't cut the tail and now I'm going to make two rows up and two rows down and then I'm going to finish with this collar and make two ties to tie on the top so I'm making I, I measured on myself and I think like five inches it's a good size so five inches for this uh, small medium if you're making a large consider making five and a half inches okay so 
So to make this two next rows, I'm going to use the same color. We are just keep making this same work we have underneath it. So it's two chains here to go up and then one, two double crochets here with one chain in between and then here three more because I had three before so I had three here and then going to make three one chain and then in the corners here I'm going to make one double crochet in this first corner one in the middle right underneath where we joined both corners and then one on the next corner here and then one chain and we are going then to this next chain there and right underneath it make three double crochets one chain three more double crochets so we're gonna repeat this row all the way until we are back here and then I'm gonna see how to size like but I, um, I'm gonna make another one exactly the same one that's what I'm thinking now we are doing this together for the first time but um, So measured and should work. So that's how it's looking like now. So we're gonna keep doing this work and when we get here on the beginning just finish like we did before and then we're gonna make one more row of this same work and then we're gonna finish with this collar and a single crochet row around it and then after that we're gonna make the ties to the top like the top I put I put before right on the beginning of the video there was a um, crochet hard top so I'm making exactly like that one okay so just repeat all this all the way until you back to the beginning of this row so to make this next row it's gonna be exactly the same of the one before we're going to start with uh, four chains so one two three four because three is gonna be for the last stitch of this hole here and one chain is gonna be to go to the next hole there so we need four this time instead of the two we had before just two because we're gonna have to have this space in between them okay and now we in this next hole here we are going to make that same three double crochets with one chain in the middle and um, cut this Fabiana okay and then uh, one chain there and then three more double crochets here so we're just gonna be repeating the same row we did before always making the three double crochets on top of the chain and then after that I'm going to make one row with the other color with this color here and then the ties so repeat that again all the way to the end and then you can cut this yarn because we are going to start working with 
the necks with the with the other color to finish and then after we finish this side here we are going to make the bottom of it and then I'll be making um, an edge on the bottom just to make it look more nice and then after that's ready it's a after you learn how to make the crochet heart it's kind of not very hard to make the rest of it so just repeat that and then I'll come back to you with the neck ties not they're not neck ties they're just ties you tie up and then the bottom part of this crochet top it's looking lovely isn't it now I'm, I'm going to make a last row here to finish the top part of it with the other color so to do that I finished here with a single crochet in the third chain from before now I'm going to make my slip knot here and then pull this through the other loop hold both tails on the bottom and then single crochet on top of them Okay, so we're gonna single crochet one single crochet in each stitch from before just to close this top nicely and then after doing that we are going to make the straps so make this one row just really single crochets all the way around until you're back and then we're gonna we're gonna place markers where we want our um, straps because they have to be on the same place on the back and on the front and with uh, and with the same space in between them so that's what what we are doing next and then after that if you want to go ahead and just make two of these rows down here on the bottom because then I'm just going to explain to you how to make after making these two rows it's the exact same rows we had here okay I'm going to make two this way and then I'm just going to explain to you how to make the um, edging for it Okay, so just repeat this and then we're gonna place the markers after that for the for the ties. So after I finished this row here, I went and tried I tried it on me to see where I would like to place the the strings, uh, the ties, and so I just I put this heart right in the middle because I, I wanted it to be like uh, centered on my body and then after that I saw which place I put a marker on the place where I wanted the strings to be like looking at myself in the mirror where I liked it the most and then and then if you fold it it should be on the right spot I have to replace this guy here so you, you place one put the heart in the middle and then I have to replace this guy here Okay, so what I did was place the marker looking in the middle where I wanted it with this heart in the center 
and then you fold it like this and they should be all in the same that same spot there okay so then you can start making your straps from here and to make the straps what I'm gonna do is uh, use uh, double double yarn okay so I'm using both of these rolls I made from from the scraps that I had and I'm going to so I'm going to make one here and one on the back one here and one on the front and then I'm going to make some tassels at the end in all four ends of it and then we're gonna tie on our around our shoulders so to start doing this I'm gonna remove this first marker here and then I'm going to work around uh, 80 chains to the top so make here a slip knot with both sides with both ends make a slip knot here pull it through that stitch there and then we're gonna make here chains so keep making these chains so here I finished this first uh, strap and it has 18 and a half inches so I made 100 chains for that I wanted to make a lace on the top and with both uh, strings of each side and so that's the size I have now plus the tail at the end 47 centimeters and 18 and a half inches okay so now I'm going to make that so I have a long string here at the end a long tail and then all I do is I place my hook through the last chain and then I pull it through okay and I'm gonna use this finger to just measure the size of the loops that I have to make so I'm gonna make as many as I can with this tail I like to make around four or five okay that's enough because I need a little bit longer uh, tail at the end so I can wrap around it and then I normally use a smaller hook as well so I can easily pull the thread through so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this tail around that tassel for few times as you can see this is quite easy and then when it's almost the size of the tassel itself I put the hook through a few loops until I can see I normally make it so easy it's just because I've been filming it's hard anyway put the hook through a few loops here and then uh, yarn over the hook and pull it through pull it through all the way now which one it is this one okay and then after that you just cut it off okay so repeat there on your on your top this same thing okay we're gonna be making four of these in that spots that we marked before okay that we place the marker and then after that you can or you can start making these two rows same two rows here down to the bottom and then we're gonna finish with an edge okay so let's keep going stop the video now and then I'm gonna show you how I made my edge on the bottom of this top so I decided to do elastic 
because I like it better this way but if you want to make just um, a tie and and put in and put in and out inside this this last um, row we made here you can do that too or you can make another row with just one, one double crochet one chain and another double crochet so you can you know slide it through this uh, and make a and make a um, string that's long enough to make a lace on the front in the front of it so um, it's your choice really but I, I'm going to put elastic so what I did I cut it a bit smaller it's just slightly smaller than the top so it's not too tight it could be a little finger smaller okay so it's not too tight and then I made a knot I made I stitched both ends together if you can see here and then now what I'm going to do is see where my the front so the front of my bikini is on the other side I know it because there's a heart right in the middle of both of these um, strings and so because this is the back I will always like to put this the ends on the back so I'm gonna place them here and then I'm going to single crochet all around it so I have here my last stitch my last single crochet from the row before and now I'm making I'm gonna put the hook through and in the, that next stitch pull that yarn and it's gonna uh, automatically cover this this um, elastic we have here and then keep covering it so if you have an elastic that's more it looks like more like the collar thread that she used you can use as well but as you can see it doesn't show much so I don't think that's a problem really so yeah just repeat that around you know put the hook through and then behind the elastic and then just make that single crochet right on top of it so you cover it as well and then repeat that all the way around and then we're gonna cut this yarn after we finish this row here and then we're gonna make uh, the edge with the other color I think it's gonna be nice okay and then and then this stops ready so repeat this all around and then finish with this with this thread color and then we're gonna change to the other color and make our little edge around the entire piece to finish it nicely and then it's ready so one other thing that I was gonna say as well is that this because normally our breast is the same size of our hips you normally sometimes it's jeep but normally you can do that it's if you make um, two more row two more rows of squares of um, hard squares you can make a skirt as well and for the skirt this is a really good finishing because it's elastic you can sometimes you can put you can make two rows with two elastics and then it's gonna be finished that's a really good finish for a um, skirt as well so quite easy to make a skirt just repeat two more so I have nine hearts here I would have nine times three hearts 27 hearts to make 
um, to make a skirt and then you can finish the same way with the same edge if you want like there are many options there okay just letting you know how easy it is to you know just to make something else out of it also you can make a jacket i saw the jackets they're quite easy they don't use half square so it's you know you just make a square to the front a square to the back and, and make two squares two rectangles for the for the sleeves and it's quite easy as well i'm gonna put some i think already put on the beginning of this video I put the jackets that I found and also the skirt so you can have an idea but from here if you did that it's quite easy to make a skirt or a jacket or anything you want with this beautiful uh, crochet grainy square okay so finish that and then we're gonna finish this uh, top with the edge around it so I found this edge in here that I like it's very simple to make and it's only I'm gonna make it in I'm gonna make it in four rows okay because we already have the first row if you don't know how to read charts these are the crosses are single crochets the little round things are uh, chains and the long ones they are double crochets so all you do is count the number and count the number underneath and then you know what to do so i'm going to start with five chains and then one i'm gonna start with a single crochet and then five chains i'm gonna skip two single crochets from the row before and i'm going to have one single crochet in the third stitch so let's start this now Okay, make your slip knot there. And then you can start. I'm going to start a little bit before that tail. It doesn't matter where you start. And then with a single crochet here. And then after that, I'm going to be making one, two, three, four, five chains. I'm gonna count one. I'm going to skip one, two. I'm going to skip three, okay? One, two. I'm going to skip two. One, two, because I want it to be a bit ruffled, like at the end. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, the third one, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna show you in a picture how I want it to look. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. So make five chains, keep two underneath. And then single crochet in the third stitch. Repeat this all around your top, and when we when you finish, start the video again because then we're gonna start on the second row from here. So to finish this row here, this last stitch we are going to make two chains. And then, and then one double crochet in this first stitch we have there. So we finish on top of this arch because that's where we need to be. So this is how it's looking like now. Going to the second row so the second row you're going to make one two three four five chains and then one going underneath 
here in this arch we are going to make one single crochet here and then from here we are going to make one chain one double crochet five times so five double crochets here one chain one double crochet one chain one double crochet so count five double crochets there in each arch we have now four one more five and then one chain at the end of these five double crochets and one single crochet in that very next arch there and then five chains five chains and joints with a single crochet in that next arch and then one chain and make there your five double crochets with one chain in between them so the, repeat that all the way around I'm gonna show you the end of this row and the beginning of the next row okay that's how it's looking like it's looking gorgeous isn't it so yeah let's finish this finish the next row and then this tops ready to rock and roll <laughs> when I got here I finished like that and then all I did was I made a single crochet in that one there yeah uh, so I'm going to make here after the two chains to start I'm going to make one double crochet here and then from here I'm going to make my picot stitch which is two chains and then here in this uh, same double crochet I'm going to put the hook through pull it and make a single crochet here that's my picot stitch and then one chain in between and another double crochet right on top of that double crochet from before and repeat that picot again so one two chains put the hook through inside that double crochet and make a single crochet with a chain right after it and then another double crochet repeat that picot again two chains one single crochet here one more chain and another double crochet here two chains picot stitch one more chain and one double crochet there and now here two chains to make a single crochet in that next arch there so that's how it's gonna look like at the end this little edging and so here start again with two chains and then one double crochet our picot stitch and repeat that all around double crochet picot stitch one chain and another double crochet two chains put the hook through in that same stitch and make a single crochet with a chain and double crochet on the next in that next double crochet so repeat this all around and then at the end I'm gonna show you how this top looks like at the end I'm gonna um, comment a bit about the size what I think about the size after finishing it okay this is perfect for a person that's small to medium which is my size I'm a 34B that's perfect I think that's perfect for 32 large sizes 32 uh, 
probably C and G, 34, 35 inches A and B. And then if you want a larger size than that, 36, C, D, you have to add one full grain square more. To make an extra small, which is the other opposite way, if you, if you wear like 32AB, just remove one square. In that case, you're going to have eight squares then. And that's going to be perfect for a person that's extra small, too small, which is that small that's, you know, that's not to the medium side, but to the small side. So I'm going to keep making this last row. And then I'm just going to quickly show you how it looks like at the end. So I finished here this last row. That's how it looks like now. So you can see from closer. And <clears throat> I finished right here with a single crochet. And now all I have to do is wave this little tail in. I always do an extra knot. I left a very little tail actually here. So that's how I wave it with the with a little hook, smaller than the one I was making this crochet design. This hook is 1.5 millimeters. I think you can see like that. Big. Remember, I want to remember, remind you that this pattern can be made as a skirt as well. You can make that for kids. For kids, you just reduce the number of, crush, of uh, squares. I think for a kid, it would be around six. If I cut for a kid, it would be around here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, and maybe one less row here or something like that, but it can be done for kids as well. It can be done for all sizes actually. It can be done as a skirt too. So there are many options. You can use the grainy square, the hard grainy square. So let me know in the comments what did you think. If you enjoyed this pattern, if it was easy for you to make, I would love to know. And I hope you all have a great week. Give me a like if you like this tutorial. And subscribe to my channel because that always helps me to create more content for you guys. I love creating crochet pieces. And um, I want to keep doing that for you. So if you subscribe to my channel, that helps me a lot. Thank you very much. Enjoy your week.